Hey guys, so I was a bit slow getting this video going. This is a diagnostic video, something I've been saying lately. Watch that number three. Um, my question is that whether, um, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a 150 Prado. We think maybe a little bit noisy when it's cold. And we're just doing a diagnostic. We start up cold about one to two minutes ago. And that number three's been racing up and down. See, so down, whoa, up, going back up again. Back down 1.6 and up to nearly three. Down to 1.1. Just keep an eye on that. I'm not worried about anything else because the engine's cold. Um, everything else looks pretty good at considering 149.961 on the odometer 2000 and late 2012 probably full DLC injectors Owner says it seems to be a little bit noisy when it's cold And this is what I want to show you that we see all the time. Okay now the important part of it is We've seen this on vehicles that are new or near new that definitely haven't been opened up and contaminated um, we've seen it on vehicles that have new injectors, okay, um, quite often. So I'm not sure that there's an issue. I don't believe we should be replacing injectors when we see this because if we did, we'd be so busy because we see it that much. And we don't see many cars compared to the big wide world out there, right? See how it's settling down already? It seems to be a little bit. It's still going up and down, up and down. We do see this a lot. It happens to be having a little bit of a rough idle also. So I just want to show you what happens, what we see. I haven't decided diagnosis-wise whether there's an issue or not. I just wanted to show you that number three. There it is, down to minus 0.7 or something already. But the way they race up and down, and they go really high. This one, I don't think I saw a three. There it is, a bit of a rough idle. It's going rough idle on and off as well. And it's a little bit rat. It's got a bit of a knocky rattle at idle as well. Certainly not noisy, noisy. seems quite quiet it's got a bit of a a louder rattle at idle than what they normally have I don't know how much you can hear and I've got the radio on in the background here well I haven't it's on but I haven't turned it off yet that's all I'll turn it down I mainly wanted to show you what the feedback values can do now if you see that on an earlier one like a 120 or the early highlighters up to September 09 you're not going to see it fluctuating up and down like that usually. They may start off high, they may start off low, they may go high, they may, anything can happen. Um, different system, if they're cold and they go up, there's a problem, okay? Quite often they will come down with inspect though. These are just the individual feedback values. Please watch my other videos on diagnostics. Search the channel, diagnostics, because... There's a lot of information in those videos. You've got to watch to the end and listen to everything. There's a lot of information in those videos where it's specific and it's different from vehicle to vehicle. With these, yeah, look, I think there's something going on with this vehicle. And I'm not trying to say because of that, what I'm trying, the point of this video is to show you that we see that on the diagnostic a lot when there's nothing wrong with the vehicle um, this one certainly isn't bad but the customers come in saying it's, it's noisy when it's cold sort of thing you know it's at 150k it's getting close to my recommended interval based on averages so it's something we've got to think about it's got a bit of a rough idle there i've noticed this is not all the diagnostic we're going to do this is i had to move the vehicle before doing other work on it so I thought well before I start it because it's cold I want to um, check it out and then we're going to do the other work and then we're going to check it out more and a bit more extensively including on a road test when it's cold 
which we're not doing at the moment. You can see number three down to minus 0.5 already, right? How long has it been running? Let's have a look. Uh, run time, 388 seconds, so a few minutes. You can see the load's already down 17, 18, like normal. Is the aircon on? The aircon's on. Let's turn that off. All right, no load, no aircon. The load is actually very low, and it's jumping around a bit too. Oh, it seems to have steadied off. It's quite low for what it is, which sometimes can also show an issue. If it's too low, it can be a sign of an issue with it. There, see it jumping down to sevens? So this is what I said, diagnostics, right? So this is a bit of an unknown. I'm gonna put this video up. You just don't know what's gonna happen um, when, when you start, start a video. So the idea was I saw it fluctuating up and down. So the first point I'd like to make, as I've said already, this happens. So don't jump all over a set of injectors or replacing one injector. And look at everything. You're looking at the load here. See it dropping down to sevens every now and then, nines. And there's a rough idle at the time that it does that, right? There's something going on with this vehicle. Don't know what it is yet. But every now and then it does a rough idle. See it goes nine and you've seen it go down to seven. Very important to look at the other readings. That's why I told you about the load reading in the last few years. I noticed nobody else was talking about it. We need to get it out there. It's probably one of the most important readings. It's kind of like gather up all the others and put them together you know you've got that on your scan gauge or your eds you can see it there it goes 7.4 again um okay so you've seen that let's go look at the other readings that rarely go out that's what i'm saying i really rather base this replacements on averages okay now look at the injection volume on this it should be around seven or eight once it's warm so it should be up a little bit but see how it's going really low so when the injection volume and the load go low, normally the main injection period goes low too. So let's have a look at that. So this is a massive education for anyone looking at diagnostics on a 1KD. And I suggest it's not just 1KD specific. You could probably relate this to other diesel engines as well. Okay, this is beautiful, okay? Bada boom, bada bing, right? See that main injection period going down to 330? That is ridiculous. And then it's up into the 600 sometimes as well, where it should be. Dan, did you see 284? Wow. Okay, so this is typical. Okay, we've seen this before when there is problems with injectors, where the load goes low, the injection volume goes low, and the main injection period goes low. This is going to be a problem with an injector for sure. So when you couple all this together, the rough idle and the customer complaining about noise, and this isn't really bad. Look, have a listen to it yourself. It has got a bit of a rattle there. Oh yeah, you can hear that, right? This software is really good at hiding it, but most people aren't going to notice that, and this is where it all goes wrong. The big question is, how much damage has already been done to the piston? wrong combustion okay I think there's an issue with number three injector and we're certainly not going to replace one injector it's due for the injector job there it goes again look at number three going up minus 2.5 sorry about that someone tried to ring me a little interruption but we only missed a few seconds there it goes minus 2.9 now this is why all depending what you find in your initial diagnostic how much more time you need to spend, okay? So sometimes you can do a quick thing, you know the history or they've been replaced, you know, noise, smoke, customer complaints or not, have a look at the diagnostic and sometimes within a few minutes you go, nah, this one's right. Now when you've got a sniff of something going on, you really need to spend the time and that's what we're gonna do with this one, right? Look at it, there's something going on there. Between what it sounds like, the rough idle we had, Look, it could be a blow-by situation as well. You know, the seats are up there at 150. It's not like we haven't seen it there before. I don't think it is. I think it's an injector issue. Anyway, guys, we'll get this video together. We'll put it up. And in another video, we'll um, try and let you know what the outcome and show you the readings. It'll be a separate video because these injectors aren't get getting done on this visit. We've got enough already booked in already. Um, but it's something that will probably happen sooner rather than later, unfortunately. Definitely, um, from what I'm seeing. 
I'll be pushing to do it sooner rather than later, which, you know, it's just what it is. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications when that information comes in to let you know what we found and more further information, of course, similar information on other vehicles like this. Once again, thank you very much for watching. See ya. Couldn't help myself but show you this. This is what I'm talking about. Don't worry about the cold start test, all right? The vehicle's warming up and look where it's headed. Okay, 4.3s. Can you hear that knock at idle? So this is a perfect example of a 150 Prado that's doing something they don't normally do, okay? So quite a good one, look at it go, 4.6. 100% injector issue, right? 100%, there's no doubt about it in my mind. Now this vehicle, it could have um, contamination. We haven't changed the fuel filter since 120. It's due again at 160. Obviously the rear one gets done. Could have algae in the tank, could be anything that's caused this issue. Because I believe they're full DLCs, but we will find out at the end. Hard to get noise out of it, just giving it a light rev, but look at that, watch it go racing back down again. Shocker. Anyway, can you hear that knock at idle? It's a bit windy, I don't want to put the, um, the audio out the window in the wind for you to hear the noise, so I've got it in the vehicle with the door open, hoping that you can pick it up. Absolute shocker. All right, let's go for more. So it's been not running a few hours, so it should be fairly cold. Done the timing belt and everything. Big front engine job. Runs rough. Nasty. So I wouldn't even say number three because see what I mean? You do another diagnostic, number two is going, it's, it's maybe not even one injector. There could be a bigger issue at number three. Two could be compensating, but yeah, probably just overall. It's like rough coming back to idle, rough idle. I can feel it through the seat, you know, it's like rough. So you know what I mean when I say rough idle. When I go to give it a light rev with the door shut, it's nice and quiet in here now. It's got that marble on top of one of the pistons. Yeah, someone left a marble in there. Of course we know I'm joking it wouldn't even fit in there but to describe the sound for you and just rough as coming back to idle and rough idle don't wait for it guys don't wait for it to happen regular injector changes this is seven years 150,000 k's as I said our guide seven years 170 if you hit seven years get them out and if you've hit 170 for the injectors and the seats, they've got to come out, redo the seats, you might as well put a fresh set in. They're flogged or three quarters of the way there anyway. I don't know if you can hear that. Really need to sit tight. There'll be a video after the injectors on this are done to compare the diagnostics and the sound. Anyway, we're just bleeding the cooling system, so we'll let it warm up slowly, and I think that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. I suppose the last part is just having a look at it when it's at full operating temperature after it's been driven. Um, looking at the load, it is low, but it seems to have settled. Remember, it was jumping around like crazy. So that's where checking the injector's cold comes in. Just put a, 
got to be careful not to misdiagnose. Let's have a look at those other readings to compare. Remember the load, the injection volume, and the main injection period at the bottom, so top and bottom. Plus that load rating seems to have settled. The injection volume seems to have settled as well. Remember it was dropping down to threes and fours and up to, uh, yeah, it was up and down all over the joint. Same with the main injection period. Still a little bit low, a bit short. Um, but it's not doing before I even think I saw 280s and so it was up and down all over the place. So there's an issue there that once everything warms up, it's better. It's quiet again. You can still see that reading minus 1.5. The key thing here is when you've got an issue, usually the, you get a reading staying up when it's hot also. But like always, doesn't mean because you've got a higher reading, there is a problem. Okay, so very difficult to tell the difference. Um, so we'll just keep sharing the info and hopefully you can pick up and uh, learn a bit from my experience, I suppose. quiet now no rattles no no rough idle no rattles a little bit a little bit rattly but pretty good massive improvement on warming up 